My name is Colin Stultz. I'm an assistant professor of electrical engineering and computer science in the Harvard MIT Health Science and Technology Division. Um, I am also a member of the Research Laboratory of Electronics. MIT is a, is a very diverse place and the uh, strength of diversity is that it brings different viewpoints to bear. The Research Laboratory of Electronics has a variety of different um, scientists associated with it and the types of research projects that they look at are, are so diverse and I think more so than any other place in the Institute. And whenever you have a collection of such diversity, people who are interested in so many different things scientifically and otherwise, it, it breeds this type of acceptance and this type of uh, willingness to have people invent and explore things that um, really others have not explored before. My research at RLE is divided into, I would classify it under two broad classes. The first being big things and the second being small things. With respect to big things, we look at physiologic data, electrocardiographic signals, which come from patients um, after they've had a heart attack, and we try to make predictions about who's going to live after a heart attack and who's going to die. The major aspect of our work is in looking at small things. And by small things, I mean things that you can't see with the naked eye, proteins and DNA. And we use computers to try to understand how changes in the shape of proteins and DNA impact on human disease. The dichotomy between um, the, the, the medical part of my brain and my life and the, and the more pensive scientific aspect of, of, of my life, I think overall helps my research. And I like to think it helps the research of others. The perfect project is one that combines both theoretical or computational aspects with experiment. And either the student does that him or herself, or they do one part and in collaboration with someone else. One of the great strengths of MIT, I think, is that it is a university that values teaching tremendously. The process of preparing lectures and knowing that one is going to present um, data and information to a group of talented individuals forces you to really explore the limits of your understanding. Students who come to RLE and who come to MIT are some of the best in the world. And um, students have a, a certain naivete and, uh, and, and being no, not knowing what the boundaries are of what they know, which makes them ask very um, difficult questions. They're not afraid to ask difficult questions. And knowing that you're going to have some very smart kid, undergraduate or graduate student, ask you questions that um, will really stretch the limits of your, of your, of your understanding, I think, is, is invaluable. Since coming to RLE, our research, uh, my research group has, has, has really grown and has thrived. Using engineering principles, principles from computer science, um, to study biomedical problems, I, I think, is, is where things are going. And it's going to require somebody or a group of individuals with the type of expertise that RLE has. So looking at complex systems, looking at interactions and components of complex systems, engineers, computer scientists, and collaborations from many different avenues to be able to understand all of that. And so I think that there is a lot to be said for places like RLE contributing to human health and, um, and I think that's where the future is. I love what I do. I love my job. I, I love coming into work and I love thinking about hard problems. I love thinking about hard problems with smart students and smart people. I love exploring things that are unknown. I, I love trying to understand things that I don't understand. And I think that we're working on important problems, and, I, and I, I think that we're making headway, and I think that we are really trying to leave a legacy that I hope will last for a long time.